Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my Sims 3 collection. Yay! I'm finally, finally, finally doing this. My first YouTube video. I've been trying to do this many times. I'm sorry if the lighting's a little weird. Again, first YouTube video, so it's a little rusty. So, um, anyways... I'm trying to adjust the lighting as I'm looking. So, anyways, let's just start. It's fine lighting. So, um, okay, so let's just jump into it and let me get my first game in my collection. I got my stack of games, and I only have Sims 3 games out of all the Sims games, and I'm hopefully, hopefully, hopefully going to be getting every single kind of Sims games for the PC. You know, like the classic Sims. I'm sorry, I'm squishing a squishy. Um, the classic Sim game, The Sims 2, and all the Sims 3. And if I'm not looking here, that's because there's a screen right there. So I'm recording this on a phone. So if I'm not looking here, I'll be looking here. So yeah. I get distracted easily. So let's just start before I get even more distracted. The first PC game I ever got was The Sims 3. Supernatural, Sims 3 Plus Supernatural, and um, in this, the reason why I got this is because I was playing The Sims 3 on my PS3, which I do not have that game anymore, but, um, and I saw PewDiePie play The Sims 3 Supernatural, and I was like, hmm, I would like to get that game, it seems interesting, so I went out to GameStop the next day, I think, and um, I asked for The Sims 3 Supernatural for the PS3, and a lot of you may know, well, everyone who owns this game right here knows that it does not come for, it only comes for, like, the PC. So that's why I had to get the base game in order to play any other expansion pack. So that means the regular Sims 3 I had to get, or else I wouldn't be able to play Supernatural on my PC. So that's why I got the Sims 3 plus Supernatural. They were actually having a deal. It comes with two discs on the inside. See? Here's one, the base game disc. And here is the Supernatural disc right there. And you just put them on top of each other. They make enough room in it so you can put it on top of each other. It comes with a few flyers in that. So um, the next game I got a few months later, I got the Sims 3 Pets expansion pack. And since I already have the base game, I can buy whatever else I want for the Sims. So the Sims 3 Pets expansion pack. And this is the perfect video game if you're an animal lover and a Sims lover because then you'll have the two your two favorite things combined into one beautiful game. So there's that. Then I got let me see. I'm trying to go in order here that I got the games. Then I believe this was the next one, The Sims 3 Seasons, because I've always wanted in my game for it to be able to snow and for there to be holidays, and this has every weather possible pretty much, and it has all the holidays, I mean, it's Christmas, Halloween, you know, spring fling, summer, summer vacation, they call it Leisure Day, and they have special names for it, but it can rain, snow, hail, fog, Trying to think of everything. You can get a sunburn, a suntan, you can get struck by lightning. Yeah, there's a ton of cool stuff in this. So this is one of my favorite expansion packs. It just adds a great deal to the game, uh, the best. And um, the next thing I have, the next thing I purchased was, um, um, I believe it was the Sims 3 Expansion Bundle, which comes with the Sims 3 World Adventures Expansion Pack and the Sims 3 Generations Expansion Pack. Now, unfortunately, there was an incident and it broke. I don't know if you can see. It, it, it was damaged. So I bought a new copy, but I kept this copy just in case because, you know... One of the CDs in here, DVDs, games, in here are, like, good, but just in case, you know, you never know, so I kept it. But here's my new copy that I got. It, I got this a while ago, and watch. The games are perfectly fine. Nothing's ruined because it's a new copy. So there you go. 
then uh, I got the Sims 3 70s, 80s, and 90s stuff back. I mean, it's really fun, especially if you were born in any of these, like, decades. It will be really fun for you to go back to the past and see what you used to do as, like, a kid, again, if you were born in these decades. And even if you weren't, it's still fun to see what your parents did or your grandparents or whatever did back then or how they dressed. It's really fun, and it's fun to, like, make it a more retro theme for your Sims. And you know it has, of course, this isn't like an expansion pack, it's a stuff pack, which comes with clothing and stuff for your house. So, there's that. And, um, then, the next game I got was, um, The Sims 3 Showtime Limited Edition. And I think I'm gonna get... Um, they're actually going to get the Sims 3 Showtime with Katy Perry in it because that has more features. And it's also different than Katy Perry Sweet Treats. So, um, yeah, so that has more features to the game. So, you know, I want to get that. Even though I already have this, I still want more features. Yay! So, yeah, I got this. The limited edition, at least I got limited edition. It just comes with, um, um, a modern venue and stage. So, um, that's always fun, I guess. Then I got the Sims 3 Starter Pack, and I'm aware that I already have the base game, and this comes with the base game. I just got it because I really wanted the Sims 3 Late Night, and it didn't come single alone. So, um, yeah, and this, another plus is it also comes with a stuff pack, which is great. The Sims 3 High and Loft stuff. And then my most recent game I got is a Sims 3 Island Paradise. You know, the Sims 3 Island Paradise. There's that. And, um, yeah. I was just, I just got my blocked for a second. So that is my Sims 3 collection. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. See you on my next video.